everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Gonna check out some more cool new inventory tonight. 1973 Dodge three quarter ton four wheel drive pickup. This is an old farm truck. This is off that big load I bought with 25, 26 cars and trucks. This was an old workhorse. They used it, they used it hard. And then when they got done, they parked it out in the pasture. So here she is, factory red pickup, no bed on it. It had a big spray rig on it. This is one of the ones back when they were branding a lot of stuff, power wagon, still said power wagon on the hood of these down in the indentions. But uh, no bed, but a good solid old pickup that still has a lot of good pieces on it. Plus it's three quarter ton four wheel drive. So we'll take a look over here, kind of step back and look at it. You see it's got some sort of a framework still on the back of it. That's because this thing had a big, huge John Deere sprayer on it. It had a big tank, it had big booms that would flip out on it. They took that off, which was fine. They wanted to keep it and I didn't have any use for it. So not much back here except the remnants of some old framework from this old spray rig. It did have a pretty heavy duty rear hitch on it though. That thing was pretty stout there and it could pull some, some weight with the way they had redid their custom built that hitch on the back of it. So that's what's on the back. Not a lot, nothing really exciting, but the truck is a pretty decent old pickup. I've been looking at it a little bit. As we come around this side, we can see the back of the cab really not too bad. We look down at the cab corners, not terrible on those as well. We'll pop the door open. Even the doors look pretty good on this truck, but we'll take a look inside. Inside, pretty much intact. We can see the rocker panels are still solid on this truck. Other than the glove box door, pretty much intact. We can look up here on the dash and it says computer nacre. So that was part of their spray rig that they didn't need anymore. Left still on the dash, just exactly as this truck was set up to work. We can see the spotlight sticking through the roof. There again, it was a work truck. It was utilitarian. It was meant to do a job. That's what it was used for. Doors even still fit pretty good on this thing. You know, a little bit of rust in the front fenders, but really pretty minimal. Still got the factory 200 badges on it. We can see the lockout hubs for the four wheel drive sticking through the wheels. That will work away on around the front. You know, these big aluminum grills, they never survived. And obviously this being a work truck, you can tell it took some, took a beating while it was out in the field. Still some remnants of this thing being parked out in the pasture for years, still hanging on it. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and take a look under there. And pretty much your basic setup under here. V8 Chrysler, nothing real exciting. Did have factory power brakes. Still has the equipment identification sticker up under the hood. Some of it's a little bit tough to read, but it is still there. We can see a little bit of the actual red looking paint that's not completely faded to orange underneath the hood. But other, you know, for the most part, still pretty much intact under here, just the way they used it and shut her off. Still got the old battery left in it. We'll kind of come around this side, show you the left side of the pickup. Typical dings and dents, banged up a little bit. A little bit more rust in this fender than the other side, but we can see down the rocker panels and everything. Still a pretty decent old truck. And we can even peek in from this side a little bit. All the dash is still in it, even though it has the factory radio in it. Just exactly how it should be. And it's got your manual transmission stick sticking up through the floor, plus the old manual actual, you had to actually use the stick to engage your four wheel drive. So back when these trucks were workhorses, you actually had a stick. You didn't have a button for your four wheel drive. So. That's what we've got for you tonight. Kind of a neat old pickup, like I said. Definitely a workhorse, that's what it was for. We can even see we had mud grips on the front of this thing, as well as the back. It was meant to do a job, it was meant to get in the field, it was meant to spray, and it was meant to work. So, just like most of these old trucks, that's what they were. They weren't pretty, they weren't fancy, they were built to work, to do their job, and that's what they did, so. Kind of neat old story behind this one. Even though the spray rig's gone, we still see part of the mounting system there that was there for it. And uh, pretty cool to see it still really in this condition because it's really pretty solid and there's a lot of good metal left on this one. So anyway, that's what we've got for tonight. I hope you enjoyed checking it out. 
These old 70s and 80s Dodges, so hard to find. I've only got a few of them in the yard. So always excited to add another one, especially one like this with this good of metal on it. So anyway, if you're on Facebook, please share the video with your friends. Invite them to come over, like the page so they can hang out with us. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. If you like old cars and trucks, you can see we've got a few of them sitting around here. Be sure to check out my other videos. Old cars, old trucks, memorabilia, that's what we do here because that's what we love. So be sure to check that stuff out. If you've got any questions about this Dodge or any of the rest of these 1,500 cars and trucks we've got on the ground, the only way to get a hold of me is to call me. 620-786-4428. That number's in the text with this video. Call me. Give me a shout. Let's have a conversation about your project, year, make, model, body style, the direction you're going with your build, the parts you need, things like that. All that information is what I need to know if I may or may not have something here that can help you out. So give me a quick call. We can have that short conversation. If you miss me, just leave me a quick message. I'll call you right back. So it just means I'm on the phone with somebody else. 8 to 8 Central Standard Time. And uh, we'll have a conversation about your project, see if I can help you out. So thanks for watching tonight. Appreciate you guys swinging by. Hope you enjoyed the old Dodge. Neat old pickup. Lots more to come. Tons more new inventory coming in. Stay tuned. We'll have more cool stuff on the next video. And thanks for watching this one.